Yeah, there it is. All right, so onward to one of the best dungeons that will likely not be nerfed anytime in the future. It's great for farming experience and legendaries, but first, don't make this mistake. Go here to the World Tier statue. Make sure you're on Adventure because it's going to make farming so much easier and quicker for you. Plus, there is no difference between the loot pool from World Tier 1 and 2, so why not just do World Tier 1? So yes, the dungeon that we are looking for is going to be the east of Kiavashad. And if we head over this way, we are going to be looking at this area right here. Anita's Claim is the one that we want to go to. And yes, it is also near Rhymescar Cavern. But it is also south of the Bear Tribe Refuge if you need some reference right here. So yeah, let's go check it out. Now remember, you're going to have to clear a boss here in this area before you actually unlock Anita's Claim. So just keep that in mind. He's pretty easy to get through, so it's doable even in the early portions of the game okay let's see how lucky we can get today so there's several elites in this area and yeah they can drop legendaries of course but you can get so much experience by rolling through here real quick we're gonna keep going and try to gather them all up in one spot here show yourselves elites so i'm gonna try to get as many of them together all right so here's another one let's see if he drops something for us Come on, drop it. You know you will. Dang it. We're getting tons of experience, though, so that's good. Yeah, Blizzard has not nerfed this dungeon since, like, the early days of the those beta, so I can't imagine them wanting to nerf this dungeon anytime soon. All right, let's go. so good because you have the shrines that you could really take advantage of as well. Level up. Nice. So many reasons why you would want to enter this dungeon and check it out. We're only interested in legendaries right now. Yeah, there it is. Can't lift more. Dare you. Let's check out and see what we got. We're gonna drop one of these. Ooh. So as you can see, you can actually get some really cool stuff. This is kind of a mid aspect right here. By the way, I highly recommend if you haven't already, if you really want to find out how good the aspect is on the legendary, go to your options. Yeah, go to gameplay and then turn on advanced tooltip information. That way you can find out, if you look here again, uh, the actual quality of the aspect. So this one says, increase your attack speed by 38%. You can see that it's in the middle, nearly 40% between the 30 and 50%. So this is a mid aspect, of course. So it's really, really good. Pretty good. It's not like the best, of course. Not the best in slot. So yeah, that's one way you can really find out how good your aspect really is that you're getting. But yeah, you can already see how good this dungeon actually is for getting some really good legendary so keep going world tier one remember that's also key because there's really no difference between like world tier two and one when it comes to the loot pool now when you get to world tier three world tier four that's going to be different of course Yeah, and if you don't know, dungeons do reset by exiting them. You can go to an event, of course, and wait 60 to 90 seconds, and the dungeon will reset automatically. That's what I recommend. Usually there's events nearby. Let's go. I still have pieces of one I need to kill them out. That bleed damage, the bleed build is so good for the Barbarian right now. Yeah. Now, you don't have to face off against the boss if you don't want to, but since I'm here, 
I'm going to destroy him. Oh, why, hello there. Yeah, you just cause them to bleed, walk away, and boom, they're dead. That's so nice. The earthquake move. Ground stop, stomp with earthquake is so damn good. Vulnerable. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you came out of hiding, did you? About damn time. Look at that. Doesn't even stand a chance. Hey, we unlocked an aspect suite. Yeah. By the way, if you are using the Barbarian, I highly recommend Hamstring. Your bleeding effects slow enemies by 30%. It is so good. All right, so we're back in. I should have reset. And guess what? We're going to try it again and see if we can get any more legendaries. Let's do it. Yeah, reset. Check that out. Let's go. He's come for the elite. Show yourself. Look at all that damage. Oh, damn. I meant to dodge that. Ooh, they've all been stunned. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Get out of my way. His health just goes down so much. What I'm talking about. But unfortunately, no legendary yet. Got it. We're going to push forward to this next one. Oh, he almost bounced on me. Look at those tricks. Nice. We only come for the oranges. The yellows are worthless to us. Oh god, it's caving in. Go up north. There's another hidden elite. Don't have any potions. Oh, this cursed. Fight these guys out. My god, this is pure chaos. What have I done? Beautiful. 
So yeah, really cool dungeon to check out. It's, again, most likely not going to be nerfed. That's why I highly recommend it still to this day to check it out. A lot of these other dungeons that are, you know, seeing exploits are getting nerfed so quickly. It's like you never know what is a good farm anymore because it's nerfed within hours, it feels like. But uh, Anita's claim is always there for you. But thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more open world gaming goodness and Diablo 4 right here at facebook.com slash open world video games. And I will see you all next time. Take care.